Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kitchen Instruments. Now, this week is going to be a little bit different, and the reason it's going to be a little bit different, at least for this episode, is because I may be in another cooking contest. This one is sponsored by Miners. Now, Miners specializes in making bases for stocks and soups, and they also make flavor concentrates, as well as frozen mother sauces. And not to earn any brownie points here, but I use them in the restaurant, and they're pretty damn good. Now, I could just throw something together in this dish, but what's the point in that? It's got to be fun, right? So, uh, I kind of want to do something a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more challenging, and a little bit to show off the versatility of the product. So, I decided that I'm going to use four of their signature sauces in this dish and see what I can come up with. So, for this dish, I'm going to use <clears throat> roasted garlic concentrate, mirepoix concentrate, cilantro lime concentrate, and poblano concentrate. Okay, so essentially this dish is incredibly simple, but it's also complicated at the same time. It kind of shows off a few different techniques that you might not be very familiar with, one of which is going to be a fluid gel. Now, fluid gel is just essentially a way to get a more pure puree. And then next I'm going to make a cilantro lime palm puree. Now, remember I told you a few episodes back that lime and mashed potato go really well together? Well, I'm confident enough about it that I'm putting it into a contest. Okay, and then I just wanted to have some simple roasted mushrooms, roasted in brown butter, but I wanted to have one of the mushrooms be a little bit more uh, fun. So for this dish, what I did was, instead of searing a whole mushroom, I seared the cap, and then the mushroom stem is actually a roasted parsnip that has been cored and stuffed with a poblana mousse. I know. Clever. Okay, and just to finish this dish off, we're going to do a coffee-crusted seared sirloin, which is delicious. Okay, so now, full disclosure, this episode is more like a montage of the process I went through to create this stuff more than it is an actual recipe. So if you're looking for an actual recipe, I can't give the recipe away yet because the, the contest isn't over. So if you guys are interested in that kind of recipe, I'll make a show about it later on, and we'll have a good time with it. Anyway, uh, on to the clip.
so that's my contest entry. We're going to see how it goes. I'll find out sometime in September or October. All right, well, you know, fingers crossed. We'll see how I do. If nothing else, it was a great experience, and, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun doing it. So it was, it's always fun being creative and getting to show off a little bit. All right, well, anyway, stop by later this week where we're going to have five tips for the home cook on how to be a better chef, stuff that we do in the kitchen that you might not. We'll see you then.